artistic interpretation on video. No. Tell her, tell her, angle it, angle it, tilt it, tilt it, no. Right the. It's on camera, Nikki. On camera, Nikki. On camera, Nikki. We all know she's sick. Nikki, Nikki,
table. Sit on the front bench. I'm sitting here coming. He is risen. He is risen indeed. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Oh, Lord, let our souls rise up to meet you as the day rises to meet the sun. Glory to the Father, the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Lord, we are gathered here in this place to celebrate the greatest love of all, an everlasting life. May we know that this place is not a place that ends our journey, but just begins it. Sing it. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the occasion he he took he took his wife with him and she'd never been on a cruise ship before she was a bit nervous they got in the room and got ready to go to bed uh, and the ship was doing this a little rocking and she looked over at him and she said um, what happens if the ship rolls over and he said well we'll climb to the other side and then she said um, are we gonna die and he thought for a minute he said uh, eventually um, he went to sleep the next morning he, he noticed two things the first was she had put on her life jacket while she was sleeping <laughs> and she had not put a life jacket on him <laughs> are we going to die? No. eventually eventually we're here today in this place sacred ground as you look around many of you have very personal interest um, in what's here but we know that this isn't, as Nikki said, this isn't the end. I am so thankful that we are a people of hope. Today is a reminder that this amazing God of ours who creates a morning like this created each of us. And he created us not for just a time, he created us forever. And he wants to enjoy forever with us. And that's what we proclaim today on Easter Sunday. We realize that there's been a great victory won. We had nothing to do with it. We can't add a bit to our salvation. But we can claim something that he promised. You know, he stood in a cemetery with some dear friends, and everybody was weeping, everybody was grieving. And he turned to the woman who was the, 
the host of this event, uh, the gathering of friends and family to mourn the loss of the, her brother. And he looked her in the eye and he said, uh, do you believe in the resurrection? And she gave what we would consider to be like a Sunday school answer. Yeah, I believe that one day, uh, one day we will, we will live again. And he, he never lifted his gaze from her. And he said to her, Martha, I am the resurrection and the life. And he who believes in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. If all our attention is over here, we can find ourselves sad. We can find ourselves grieving. But then we look over here. And we see this cross with a, a white cloth around it. And we realize that not even death could hold him. And because he lives, we can live. And we have a message to tell the world. Because there's a whole lot of people who think this is it. We know better than that. Are we going to die? Eventually. But I'm not afraid of that. In fact, there are so many folks in heaven right now I can't wait to see that I might be in a little bit of a rush. But the truth of the matter is, we are going to live. We're going to live forever. When God created the world, he said, it is good. When Jesus died on the cross, he said, it is enough. And one day God's going to say, that's enough. <laughs> Jesus finished the work of redemption on the cross. And the ground couldn't hold him. The tomb couldn't capture him. Because he emerges, so can we. We look forward to the day when we'll all rejoice. When there'll be no more tears, no more pain, no more suffering, no more grief. For indeed he is the resurrection and the life. And he that believes, he that believes in him, though he were dead, yet shall he live. We're not here to see our loved ones who are, whose remains are here. We're here to honor them and remember them. But this, this makes us look forward. And if you'll look up right now, you'll see the sun over the cross. And that's the way the sun is. He's over the cross. Let's pray together. Father, in these moments together, we share our love for each other, our love for you. You've given us a beautiful morning, one that we really didn't think would happen. We thought it would be rainy and messy. But you've created this event for us, this moment we can share. And I pray, dear Lord, that not just today, but that we would, we would live as Easter people. That people would know that we have no fear, fear for the future. Because our future is in the hands of the one who made us, who redeemed us, who will come again. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your love. Thank you for the assurance you give us. The peace that we not, may not be able to fully understand, but you promised it to us. And it's not like the peace the world offers. It's the peace that overcomes all things. How thankful we are for the shalom of God's people. We trust you, we love you, and we thank you for this glorious day. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.
some folks over here that are paying attention to it. You <laughs> <laughs> came early to hear you sing. <laughs> say if you got a really good picture, why don't you uh, share it with us? We'll post some of the uh, of those on our uh, web page, uh, on Facebook. Thank you so much for being here. I know that uh, uh, we have a great day of celebration, and our service will be at 10. There's a crew over at the church that are fixing breakfast, and uh, they want you to come. They want you to enjoy the food and the fellowship. So we'll uh, depart from here and make our way back over there. Thank you again. Uh, it's a great thing to celebrate Easter together, isn't it? Amen. Amen. We love you, and uh, I'm so thankful that we could have this time together. We'll make our way over to the church.